very big welcome to everyone. I have another layout for you. Yes, I know. Surprise, surprise. And once again on this layout, I am using the February Evil Enabler Core Products from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. And the best thing I did was I found the photo I wanted to scrap. And I love this photo of my son. It is winter and he is on the beach down at his uh, Granny and Pop's place where he is visiting them. From the cool products for February, I chose the lovely paper from Photo Play. It's just plain and simple called XOXO. Lots of hugs and kisses from my beautiful son, which I tend to give him every day. He doesn't like it, but that doesn't stop me. I don't care. I'm going to hug and kiss him as much as I can. Because I know one day the time will come where he won't let me. So I'm getting them in now while I can. I tend to like to give my photos a bit of a mat behind them. So this time round, I found a piece of black cardstock and it has an, a nice embossed pattern on it. It's all these little circles that are embossed on it and I really, really liked it. So of course I'm going to use my favourite tool, my Perfect Layers Ruler and that gives me a nice even edge all around my photo. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I struggle with my layers and it's something that I am trying to master and I just think that practice makes perfect so this is what I'm going to try and do here. I want to pull from the colours in my photo so I'm going to go with navy blues because of the beanie that my son is working and red because of the jumper that he is wearing. So for this layering I just went into my stash of scrap papers and trying to use up as much as I possibly can. I didn't want the layout to be completely clean and crisp, so I'm going to be ripping my paper using a wonderful old tool that some of you that might that have been scrapping for a while will have, you know, probably recognise. It's these old rulers to help you rip paper. I love them, and I think I've got two or three in my stash, and I just love the the look that it gives. Uh, you know, it just helps you tear your paper in a nice pattern. Anyway. I'm not going to get rid of them. I love them. Does anyone else have these rulers in their stash? Let me know in the comments. The line at the top where the blue cardstock and the red cardstock meet, that was driving me nuts. So what I did was I, from the sticker sheet, I got out this little sticker that says love you and I just stuck it onto some navy blue cardstock and then I stick it up there just to get rid of that line. Don't know why, but it was driving me crazy. So down the bottom, there was also that line, and uh, from the sticker sheet, I also got this row of, what are they, uh, kisses kisses and hugs, you know, the XO, 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 and the first top line is the longest, and then each row down the bottom, each row down, I made shorter and shorter. I just put some gesso on my mat and watered it down with a bit of water, and I'm just going to use it to create a soft border around my layered photo and I'm trying to be very careful not to go overboard with the gesso so that's why you see me bringing the photo in and out in and out so that I don't go completely nuts and just cover the whole paper in gesso. This layout for me came together very quickly but I wanted to add some more blue now to my background. And I found this lovely Nuvo Expanding Mousse. It's a gorgeous blue colour with a little bit of shine to it, but not a lot. And what I did was I got out one of my spatula and I'm just scraping it on. And I'm trying to make it look organic and like I just slapped it on. I didn't want it to look like I tried really hard, which of course I did, but I didn't want it to look like that. Does anyone else have this problem? I'm really liking how this is looking and now I'm going to get my uh, flower soft that I got as my choice of product for the enabling evil enabling kit from Antivirus Scrap and Craft and because I did this on a previous layout I really like the texture and the look that it gives so I'm going to do it again on this layout and I just uh, once again with my little spatula I am just Adding some glue this time and then I'm going to sprinkle my flower soft just randomly where it falls. It will stick wherever there's glue obviously. 
and I love the look that it gives. It just adds that pop of, pop of colour. It gives some texture to the layout. I am a little bit flower soft mad for the month of February. Um, someone might have to take this product off me because I have issues. I admit it. Anyway, I really, really like the look of it. And I'm just bringing some die cuts that I had in my stash, bringing them in. And what I don't show on the video is I actually land up using the bear from the sticker sheet and putting that on the left-hand corner. And I also use the love heart that says wild love from the sticker sheet and put that on the right-hand corner, as you can see here on the photos. Anyway, once again, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. If you haven't already done so i would love it if you subscribe to my little channel that is if you like what you see i mean i wouldn't want to torture you if you're not liking what you're seeing but if you do um your support by subscribing and commenting and liking is very much appreciated till next time bye everyone